Okay, this is, does my boyfriend know my body count? How's this finna go? I'm a, I'm a little curious. How's this video finna go? Cause like, you would think if we all if we're in a relationship, we would know this already, right? Unless we never you brought were this up. Sleep with anyone outside your partner? Who would it be? The first thing that came to my mind was his best friend, which feels. Come on, girl. Do better than that. We is we six seconds until the vid. Why would you say some dumb like that? Why would you say some like that? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Bad. What? <laughs> can he hear me? Yeah. He can. Yeah. Oh nuts. Is it real life? Oh no. Oh, you're done. Oh, you're done. Oh, this gonna be a good one. Oh, this gonna be a good vid. Sophia. And I'm Alex. We've been together for four years. Yeah, freshly four years. We've been together oh my gosh. for over a year. Do you have any kids? Four kids. Are you married? Yes. 14 and oh, a half Lord. years. The half matters. Yeah. You know? We're gonna give you- 14 and a half years with a girl? Look, bro. Look, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I done got my heart broken by girls I've known for like six months. Girls I've known for like three months. So, I can't imagine being with a girl for 14 years. My little brother is 15. My other little brother is 10. So their relationship is four years older than my youngest brother and a year younger than my second youngest brother. So 14 years of my life. Last time I was 14, I was 14 years ago, I was six years old. So from the age of six to now dealing with one woman, and then I don't know where I find out she's been cheating this whole time. She don't really love me. She don't follow me. How do you get over that? How do you do that, bro? That's easy, bro. I don't know how to do that. You each the yeah, same I got set it. of questions. The other person has to guess how their partner will answer it. Who do you think will win? I think I, think I will win. Are you serious? That was my gut reaction. Oh, come on. I'm just saying, bro. If I can't win this with my girl, you shouldn't be my girl. Just saying. I feel like sometimes I'll ask questions and... He doesn't really ask it back. I think I just observe more, so I'll know if I know what she thinks. Doesn't matter who wins. No. No. You know. But I don't want to be like, oh, we've been together for almost 15 years and we barely know each other. All right, we're gonna. Yeah, that's the same. Leave the room. All right. I'll go out there first. Okay. So I put these headphones on. How often would you prefer to have sex with your partner, Silas? What is Faith gonna say? Every night. Every day. <laughs> there it is. Sorry, every day. All right. Sophia would like to have sex probably once a day. Every other day. Uh, uh, not bad. Not bad. A week. Every day would be great, honestly. Okay. Okay. I know that's not what no, he thinks, no, no. though. She's you better get in that. But why did you say something different? Because I'm thinking about like the kids. It's like you gotta find a place to do it. He would be like, probably a couple times a week oh, is what see? he probably thinks I want. Alex, do you know the name of her first partner? Uh, I'm gonna guess like a Daniel. Why the fuck, what, why do you know that? You asked her, who's the first person you fuck with? And she told you his name? If I know that, I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie, that, just saying, bro. How do you know some shit like Marco. that? I'm gonna give it away. He has gotten the first two questions wrong so far. <laughs> Does she talk a lot about her exes? Uh, not at all. <gasps> really? I know. I ask him about his exes a lot, but he's like, I don't like talking about them. Facts, I facts. That's nice, because I don't know. He just wants to live in the moment. Or what's he hiding? What are you hiding, Alex? I'm not hiding anything. So he's not hiding anything. His first partner. Oh, geez. I think it was the Mormon boyfriend, Grayson. That's <laughs> his name was Caden. Oh, Caden. Whoops. Okay. How is Kaden? I think I said whoops. Partner? Really bad and terrible is what is how she's usually described her experience with with Kaden. Really bad. Really terrible. I was 15, you know, and he was a couple years older than that, and so there. A couple years? What that mean? Yo, what what do that mean? 15. He was a couple years. You can't be talking about 17 because you would say like a few. A couple? How old was he? 18, 19, 20, 28, 45? How old was he? Did she just admit to some shit? The fuck? There was a lot of unconsensual things that happened. So that's like the main 
gig. How many people have you slept with? Josh, <gasps> what is she gonna say? <gasps> I am. I'm just saying, bro. If I don't get, if I don't get something like this right, not gonna lie, bro. I'm not gonna lie, bro. What happens after that relationship? What happens after that? Like, if I were to say some shit like, "Oh, she slept with, uh, she slept with five people," but then she say some shit like eighteen, what do you do after that? I'm not answering this one. I have no idea. I don't know. I don't think he even knows. Actually, I don't think we've ever actually talked about this. What would you guess? No, he better not even say a number. I think Sophia has slept with eleven people. I have slept with. Wait, what? Thirteen people. Alex. Ah, uh, I mean, I mean, I can't even say nothing wrong with that because you you thought it was eleven, so I can't I can't even say shit. You you got that? I just got it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> um, probably five, but you could times that by two. Give a number and said you could times it by two. <laughs> Do you want to give the real answer? Sounds right. <laughs> Would you have a threesome? Uh, with me? Yeah, you can yeah. be the Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she, she'll say yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Why did you put a question mark at the end of that? Like, I'd have to sit down and like think about it, think about the person. It seems like a lot of work, but yes? Uh, she would not have a threesome. No, I would not. <laughs> Is that my first right answer? I would definitely feel jealous, and I think he would just not know how to perform. He would just not know how. <laughs> I would know. He'd, be, he'd feel awful. Did you just get exposed? She just say your dick ain't shit? Hey, man, let me find out, bro. Great, uncomfortable. <laughs> you were to sleep with anyone outside your partner, who would it be? The first thing that came to my mind was his best friend, which feels bad. What? <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. He can? Yeah. Oh, nuts. <laughs> you didn't realize he's literally watching his I had no idea he was watching me. Oh, no. Sir, if you're still with this woman after the recording of this video, you're a bitch. I'm just going to keep it a whole, I'm going to keep it all the way a buck with you, gang. If you still with her after you just heard us say that, cut her off now. What is your partner's most annoying trait? What, what do you think she's going to say? I have no idea. I do a lot of shit. <laughs> That I like to pay attention to grammar and, and call things out. Impatience, just a tad. She means impatience with grammar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, probably that I don't fill up the tank, the gas. That's it. If she says that, we're telepathically like What you broke? On. <laughs> what is it? Probably when he doesn't fill up the gas tank. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Among <laughs> other things. Oh. Congrats, you broke! My fault. My bad. I ain't mean that. My fault. That's crazy. Fill up the fucking tank, man. <laughs> I'm a woman. It's true, brother. You shouldn't have to pump the tank. Speak it, girl. You ain't lying. I know. Sophia, what are you the most insecure about? I think Sophia's most insecure about her shoulders. I'm a little bit insecure about my jaw line. Yeah, your jaw is crazy. I had, a, I had like a horrible like underbite when I was younger and I had to get jaw surgery. And yeah, your jaw is crazy. That. She's the most beautiful person on the planet. She has nothing. I wouldn't go that far, Gengi. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far, Gengi. Don't worry about Faith, who hurt you? That's pretty deep. Um, oof, I don't know. Dad. Um, I think he said my dad, but surprise, it's actually my first boyfriend, Kaden. I had... Look at that nigga's face! She in love with that nigga! <laughs> hey! Look at this nigga's face! Bro, she still love her ex, gang. I ain't gonna lie, bro. He know it. I see that face, bro. I know that face, bro. Oh, my Did gosh. Did tumultuous relationship with my father? Yes. But we've done a lot of growth and we're still in each other's lives. But I think having so much sexual trauma at a young age... We Wait. Did she say... Y'all still cool? Father, yes. But we've done oh, a lot of boy, growth oh, your dad. and we're still in each other's lives. But I think having so much sexual trauma at a young age really, really did a number up here. So I think mm. having to kind of work through that on my own has been a bit difficult, but easy with 
Sorry. Okay. What is Sophia's biggest fear? Being poor. Slugs. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, his was way off from that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who puts the most effort into the relationship? Um. Hey man, look. Usually it's me, but I, I, from what I've learned in my story relationship, I mean relationship career, it needs to be equal at all times. It needs to be equal. If it's not equal, someone gonna start even. Someone's gonna start declining even more, and then it's just gonna get fucked up, and then you are gonna be hurt. I be think she's gonna say it's even. He definitely does. I'm very very lucky. Hmm. How's that feel to hear? <laughs> really good. <laughs> He's everything that I'm not. He makes me so much better. I like, life didn't even start until I met him. If she ain't talking about you like this, get her the fuck out of here. Even my cam understand. I just dropped my whole cam just failed. But you gotta understand what I'm saying. If she ain't talking about you like that, my nigga, get her gone, bro. Get her gone. Whoa, whoa, hold on, wait. Get her gone, gang. Not gonna lie, bro. Get her gone. I'm just saying, she ain't talking about you like that, bro. Like, what is we even like? What is we even like talking about? Bro, okay, wait, wait. Come back. Come back. Anyways. Get her gone! Me too. He says me too. <laughs> See, I knew we were gonna cry. Somebody was. You ready to swap? Yeah. I guess so. <laughs> Come on, this way? All right. So head Hold on, I don't care. I don't care. Oh, jeez. Okay. Ooh, hot. Whoa, I do see him. He's right there. He looks so good. If your partner dies. No, don't try to switch it now. How soon do you feel comfortable? You're cooked. Three to five years. Probably nine months. Wait, wait, wait. What happened? If your partner dies, she's dead. How soon do you feel comfortable starting to date? What do you think he's going to say? Three to five years. Probably nine months. Oh, I thought that. <laughs> of course he's going to be like, I don't know. And then he'll say maybe like four years. Let's say four. I don't know. See? Six months seems Six like months. a good, a good uh, <laughs> threshold timetable for this sort of thing. I'm not over like a hard shit I had six months ago. Have you ever thought about leaving your partner? What do you think he'll say? No. Yes. What? They definitely had to talk about that. Definitely had to talk about that. I feel like we all had a. I feel like we all had a little. I feel like we all didn't had a little moment where it was like, "No, you want? I think I should leave your ass." But then it was like, "Hey, I, nah, you bait for real." Type shit. We all. I feel like I feel like we all felt that before. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think I screwed that up. <laughs> Would I ever leave? Any time in your mind, have you thought about leaving her? It's your whole oh, relationship. No. No, yeah. no, no, no. Me? He cap. He cap. He just remembered that she could see this. He's cap. He's cap. Monica. No. Not a chance. What are you the most insecure about? Oh, his his skinny calves. I don't think they're skinny, but he <laughs> thinks they are. I'd say my calves. My calves dodge every gram of protein I put in my body. Dang. I'm just to be a dad, so I, my calves explode. Yeah, you need to have some kids. Get those dad calves. <laughs> I'm gonna say his feet. Genetically, they're very flat. Looking tired. I'm a little insecure about it. Sometimes I feel like I look really tired. Huh? And I am tired sometimes. <laughs> yeah, you do look. Faith you look said, tired as hell. Your feet. My feet? <laughs> What's your favorite sex position? What is he going to say? He would say dog. So I don't got one. I never did that before. Doggy style. Doggy style? It's doggy. I really like doggy. His is missionary. <laughs> What's your answer? I like cowgirl. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's how you get down? Okay. Said all right. He's switching up. Faith, what is Silas's biggest fear? His biggest fear is not living up to his potential in terms of his career, of not making it to where he wants to. He's a musician. Public speaking. Oh. <laughs> she said it's not living up to your potential. I had considered that was my. That's the real answer. Gut reaction. <laughs> Did she just? Does she just casually break out in a TikTok dance? That was my. That's the real answer. Oh yeah, the generation cook guy. Generation is cook gang. I'm not gonna lie. Gut reaction. <laughs> What's your biggest fear? 
It's definitely rats. He's fucking terrified of rats. <laughs> I mean, I think she's gonna say that I don't have any fears. <laughs> nope, she had an answer. Really? A fear that she's gonna leave me. How about that? Aww. He's just lied. He just know you listening. He's trying to get some pussy tonight. He's, he just lied, bro. And your biggest disagreement in your relationship. This sounds weird, but how we respond to things. Maybe that's it. The, the moving thing, where to live and why. The moving is the real one, yeah. I want to uh, move back to the East Coast because the things that are there are my really chair so to oh. my career path. Do you think they should consider moving? <sighs> I think she'd consider it. Right now, it's a definite no, yeah. What's been your biggest disagreement? Him looking at thirst trap, Instagram reels, and TikToks. Whether or not I can watch certain videos on the internet. Such a Hey, man. So dumb. Do you have an issue with him watching? No, no, I do not. Anymore. <laughs> Wait, he can watch girls get piped but can't look at a girl in a bathing suit? The fuck? It's a little weird. No, I don't watch porn. How did his last relationship end? She was a couple years older, so she went to college and he was still in high school. So it was just kind of like, you know, the natural high school relationship ending. Uh, she went off to college and I attempted to, to go to New York City. <laughs> during my year off that I was taking. Faith, do you think they hooked up? I think so, yeah. Did you hook up? No. <laughs> Are you serious? Uh, he lying, he lying, he lying. He does know. <laughs> he lying, he lying. Who effort into your relationship? I think he'll say I put the most effort. I think it's equal all the way until- It needs to be equal. I'm telling you, that's the only way it's gonna work. It needs to be equal. I'm basically- If a girl put in more effort, right? Eventually, the girl gonna realize she putting in more effort, gonna want more effort, and then when she see the nigga ain't putting in more effort, it's gonna get fucked up. If the nigga putting in more effort, he gonna realize he putting in more effort. Or, if the nigga putting in more, more effort, right? If you were putting in more effort than a girl in a relationship, that means she really don't like you, for real. Because, like, a girl a girl always gonna, most likely always gonna be able to put, always gonna be putting more effort into the relationship. So, like, it needs to be equal, bro. Her chauffeur, she does not have a car, and I have to drive her around everywhere. So, your answer is you. Yeah. Okay, leaning towards me. All right. Why do you love your partner? I think he's gonna say my openness to how much I love him and that I would do anything for him. I love Faith because she is so cheerful and funny. <laughs> she makes me laugh. Oh. And she's a great cook. Oh, I'm saying. Okay. And did you know that your wife is the one? Like when he skipped school with his, to see his cousin at my high school and he saw me in the hall, that's when he knew. Uh, long story short, I was in the hallway and then she like tapped me on my shoulder and she was like, hey, you're cute. And then like went off and I was like, dang, she's beautiful. What was that? Uh, from the moment I met her to 14 and a half years later with four kids, like she's just this remarkable woman. She's an amazing mom, mom uh. to our kids. I love her. Do you like that answer? Yeah. You, you crying and shit? Kiss? Yeah. Get in here. <laughs> Come on back in here. Okay. Um, how was this experience? It was really good. It's yeah. like therapy. Yeah, it was good. We needed this. You both tied. We tied? You tied. No oh. way, Jose. Guess who won? She did. Yep. I did? She had 13, right? You had 11, right? Oh, God, that's really good. Not too far off, but she overall did better than you. I okay. do want to point out you both. Hey, if I say that answer. What? Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> like how, how? But some of them are tough. Some of them are tough. Your biggest disagreement, how often you'd prefer to have sex, who got it wrong? I don't think oh, he, he I, got that wrong. He probably thought I was going to say like a couple times a week. Because I don't consider like a cookie like doing it for me. <laughs> Cookie's fine with me. <laughs> Which answer surprised you the most? I'm just surprised about nine done. months. If I die. I know if she really died, she would want me to be happy as quickly as possible. <laughs> yeah. Tell her, what was your answer? I feel that. I ain't even gonna laugh at that.